Hello, hungry viewers, <laughs> and welcome to a one-of-a-kind adventure that will be as heart-pounding as it is mouth-watering. Uh, I'm Sam Regal, and if you're tuning into Critical Role tonight, just know that several of our players are at New York Comic Con. So our new friends at the Wendy's Corporation stepped up and offered us a... <laughs> Yes, these words don't make any sense. <laughs> but they stepped up and made us a medium rare opportunity oh, to play a new wow. tabletop RPG system that they themselves developed called Feast of Legends. Uh, yes, Feast of Legends has a ridiculously comprehensive guide booklet that just came out today. Uh, it's packed with classes, mechanics, entire adventures, all themed to our favorite food and beverages from Wendy's. If this sounds crazy to you, Yes, <laughs> we thought the exact same thing, but Wendy sent us their rule book and this thing is a legit RPG system. In fact, you can check it out right now at bit.ly slash Feast of Legends. So I, being our advertiser in chief, uh, jumped at this chance. I will be GMing the game tonight for four sizzling hot players, Liam O'Brien, Matthew Mercer, I'm going to the wrong cameras. <laughs> Marisha Ray <laughs> and Ify Wadiway. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> uh, now, this is a brand new setting for all of us, so apologies uh, if we aren't 100% sure about any of the rules. <laughs> Tonight is about having a ridiculous time, coming up with hamburger puns, and enjoying a lot of free Wendy's food that just got <laughs> delivered a few minutes ago. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to rules lawyer the shit out of this game. <laughs> also, we're going to try not to curse. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. Uh, uh, also, big thanks to Jessica Nguyen for the amazing character art, which you may see soon or have seen. Anyway, uh, so players, if you're ready, let's dig in, shall we, and play <laughs> Feast of Legends! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Um, okay, let's get into this game, shall we? Uh, you four are warriors in the realm of Beef's Keep. Who's the <laughs> yes, <laughs> try to hold your laughter. What is um, <laughs> I don't know what's happening, Matt. I don't know. <laughs> The nations of Beef's Keep have been splintered over disagreements on how to treat their subjects. The United Clown Nations have led their people into a collective darkness known as the Deep Freeze. But while the borderlands may feel cold and desolate, you reside in one nation that remains a true bacon of hope, Fresh Tovia. Ah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ah, Fresh Tovia, known for its comfortable seating, signature dishes, and red-headed ruler, Queen Wendy. As queen of Fresh Tovia, Wendy has clapped back at all attacks on her borders, maintaining her nation's integrity, even while my own integrity is quickly fading. <laughs> <laughs> We join uh, Fresh Tovia at a milestone. Queen Wendy has reigned for 50 years, and subjects from far and wide have gathered for this momentous occasion. They're celebrating with a festival, and the city circle is full of Beef's Keep's finest vendors, selling all your standard delicious Wendy's fare, like the kind you'll find right here at our table, as well as some experimental new carnival foods, like Asiago ranch-flavored cotton candy, chili-flavored funnel cake, and baked potato, baked potato fla flavored soda. <laughs> there are games, there are competitions, the streets are adorned, are adorned with streamers in white, light blue, and red, and the people are amassing to hear Queen Wendy address her people. You four know this city circle well. You are all bunsmen, serving in the Royal Patty Patrol. Yes, bunsmen sworn to defend the queendom at all costs. 
But your sh- notes. <laughs> Don't write notes. Why am I writing you notes? You will not need them. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, just write down Bunsman. I did. I did. Bunsman, Patty uh, Patrol. But your Bunsman shift just ended, oh. so you are free to enjoy the festival as citizens. But beef for that, maybe you should... Oh, God. I'm sorry. It's going to be like this all night. <laughs> Guys, just roll with it. <laughs> Guys, roll. Uh, but before that, uh, you should introduce yourselves and describe your characters. Maybe maybe Marisha first. Just I'm going to start oh, over sure, here and yes. go over. Hello, hello. I'm Antarctica, everyone's favorite ant. No relation needed. <laughs> and as you can see, I am... Um, I'm pretty well connected in this city. I was actually at Queen Wendy's coronation Ooh. and her birth. It was odd. <laughs> Not sure why I was there. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and you are the order of the Frosty. Oh, frosty, couldn't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> Good oh, character choices. Don't make me sing, don't make me sing. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Liam, can you introduce and describe your character, please? Hey, my name is Snacks. <laughs> I'm an adorable little nugget of a girl with three fun buns in my hair. I have five siblings, or six of us. Oh, a, a six, six in a pack. A six pack, sure. And I'll order the nugget. I'm a six sneaky, piece. quick with my nugget bolas and my dipping sauces. <laughs> yep, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> That's legit. That's legit. Uh, these are all real orders that you can find in this book. Uh, Matt, go ahead and introduce yourself and your character. <laughs> hey there. My name is Tweezel Grilden of the uh, the family Grildens. We're uh, former masters of the homestyle chicken sandwich order, <laughs> protectors of the realm. Nothing is legitimate here right now. <laughs> we like crazy. to make sure the peace is taken care of and. Uh, our fellow warriors are kept standing and well fed as he pats his large, armored trunk of a torso as his curled, bushy beard and ever-present smile and missing tooth gleams through. Pleasure to meet you all. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Patrick War- Warburton vibe going on. Uh, Iffy, could, could you uh, introduce yourself, please? <laughs> mm-hmm. Why, yes! <laughs> Love it already. I'm Hog Wild, a very strong, juicy, tender man, a bogeyman. The bogeymen are our thick, juicy, and proud people. We are very thick. We sweat grease. Yep, that's true. And we have grill marks. <laughs> I was the first of my kind to become a bunman. <laughs> and I'm very proud to stand before my race of bugmen. <laughs> and let all people of Freshtopia know that bugmen are not scary. We're loyal. <laughs> Heroic. Delicious, I hear. Very delicious. Yeah, that's, uh, we're, that's please don't eat us, but we are very delicious. <laughs> All right, so you guys work together, you guard the city together, you uh, go on patrols all the time, you're you're friends, you're familiar with each other. Um, And you just got off your shift, Uh, you're in the city circle, there's several familiar buildings around the circle that you recognize. There is uh, the Snacksmith, where basic provisions are sold. There is Wendy's Restaurant (laughs) and Inn. Uh, (laughs) There is the Royal, yeah, it's a restaurant named after the Queen. Um, there's the Royal Gardens with their familiar golden statue of Emperor Dave Thomas. Uh, there's Love the. Me. Well, I, yeah, yeah I, I guess I guess at some point he reigned. <laughs> he was an but, emperor, maybe. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Or is he like our god? I think a little. Is above. he our creator? Is I mean, God King. God King. Yes. Oh yes. hell, God yes. King. Like, like, <laughs> King, King, Tut, King Tut-esque. Like, I mean, he's, he's a god and, and a king. I have a lot of questions. Like, <laughs> there's there's food for us to eat that looks delicious, but we also look delicious. <laughs> and are made of food. And are made of food, Look, partially. I spent, I spent a lot of time thinking about the socioeconomic issues of this kingdom, and I find it's best to just... Smile and keep walking. Is, is cannibalism an issue here in Fresh Tobia? We'll find out tonight. Um, <laughs> there, uh, you guys walk past the Sossum Fountain, where Asiago Ranch spews forth from a spout, making its refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> sound. <laughs> And vendors and game booths all around. You um, you pass some uh, some game booths uh, on either side of the thoroughfare here. There is a game called, uh, there's the pig races are going on uh, next to you. There's a game called Biggie and Strong, which is sort of a, uh, a carnival sort of strength test game. There's a, a game called Fit a Fry. Um, and there's a, a game called Going Four for Four. Um, uh, just just painting this, this What's scene for you. What's going four for four? Going four for four? Okay. Would you like to walk up? What should I refer to you as, Sam? GM? I'm the game master. I'm the game master. <laughs> the game master. Hi. What's four for four, game master? Uh, well, are you going to walk up and, and sure, check it I out? Am. Okay. I you... stand up on my tiptoes so I can see over the counter and see what's going on in here. Uh, as you walk up to the going four for four uh, vendor, a lady named BBQ runs this one. Uh, uh, she explains, uh, "Oh, hello there, little 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 girl. Uh, are you are you uh, a nugget? Are you a nugget? Careful, I'll cut you." <laughs> yes, you will. Well, um, uh, I, I, uh, welcome, welcome to four for four. Uh, this is a simple dice game where you try to roll the highest number and uh, bet between rounds. It's very, very simple. All right, walk me through it. What do I have? Do I have to need to put some money down for this or what? Yes, uh, you all have. I think you start with five gold each. Um, uh, to, to bet in. Gold piece. I slap a gold down. <laughs> All right. Let's. Uh, is anyone else going to play? I will also slap a gold down. All right. Any well, other hold off. I, uh, my income as a bunsman isn't what it should be. No, I. <laughs> I slapped my gold down, thinking everyone else would. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to watch. I'm, a, I'm more of a supporter. Okay. Just Literally know, my class. Just I'm know I did it a, as a friendship. Don't gesture. worry. I got your back. I got right. your back. <laughs> Right. I slap my ah. gold down. I'm feeling slappy. Oh, now the peer pressure's kicking in. Fine, I'll put one down too. Oh, we got a, we got a full four for four game here. All right, uh, everyone, just take a D4, and uh, and I think I didn't really read off. The <laughs> let's make up the rules. Uh, let's, let's, Let's say you're playing against each other, and uh, let's say that uh, you're all gonna roll and bet and roll and bet. This is gonna happen four times. So first, first, just just roll a d4. Don't tell anyone what you rolled. Okay. 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 And uh, write down that number or remember it because you're gonna add all these up. All right. I don't know. I don't know. I'm making this up. I should have. Oh, I should have read this part of the book. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, um, all right. Now, if you think that your number is strong and high, you can you can raise, you can bet. Now we're gonna have a, a round of betting. Now, go on, everyone. Uh, if you care to bet, you can. Now, I slap another gold down. All right. If you got you guys want to stay in the in the match, you have I to. I too use my thick, juicy finger to slap down <laughs> one more gold. It's very aggressive, you. young young Bergerman. My uh, my long celebrated father of the night, uh, Benjamin the Bread, had taught me the. Dangers of gambling, I'm out. Yes, this is too rich for my frozen blood as well. All right. Well, I got five siblings, so I'm all in. <laughs> all right, roll again. Uh, the two of you who are still in, I'm also rolling as the, as the dealer. All right, would anyone care to, to raise or, uh, or, or anything? Uh, the dealer is going to raise one gold. Would you like to stay in? Or I slap a gold oh, down. Oh, boy. What about you, bacon boy? I pick a gold out of my loincloth of bacon, <laughs> and I drag it across my thick, lumpy, juicy, burgery body. Jesus. There's a piece of <laughs> burger on it, I flick it off. <laughs> transfixed. Not gonna slam it down. Okay. That was, that was attractive. That was pretty hot, yeah. yeah. Uh, whew. Round, uh, round three, everyone roll. Oh, the dealer's gonna fold. <laughs> I don't know how this game works, but I rolled three ones, so I'm out. <laughs> and you? Are we? Are we? You're still playing against each other. Yeah. One more time, Greasy. One more time. I slap a gold down. All right. Excellent. And the final roll, the fourth roll. Go ahead. 
All right. Are you gonna stay in? Oh yeah, I'm yeah. slapping it down. Slap that down. It has been slapped. Slap it. I've thick. slapped harder than I've of, ever slapped before. A lot of thicks and slaps Yo, going on. Yo, so thick and slappy, I'm ready. <laughs> oh man, this game slaps. <laughs> oh. Oh. Triumphant! All right, what? Is your final number? Man, I was rolling terribly the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Eight. Ten. Oh! oh winner! <laughs> winner! Winner! Barbecue chicken dinner! <laughs> <laughs> yes! The so grease rolls all, in my favor today. All the gold goes over. You you had bet four coins, oh, I think. Gone. So you get an extra four from him, uh, two from these guys, and three from the dealer. I don't know that math. It's a lot. <laughs> You got nine extra gold, I think. Okay. Congratulations! What? Thanks for stopping so, by. I don't know how I, as a vendor, make any money playing. I'm a little concerned about your understanding I've been of business. For, I've been playing for three hours, and I have yet to make any money on this. Okay. Anyway, bye bye. I'm dumb. All right. Um, you continue on. Um, you're, uh, you do. You pass by. Uh, looks like the pig races are, are full. Uh, you do walk by the the fit a fry contest. That, that's still going on. What? Is it, what, what? Okay. What? What is fit a? Where do you have to fit the fry? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, a young gentleman named Nug Caesar runs up to you and says. Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, hello, hello there. Uh, welcome to Fit a Fry. If you'd like to compete, it's a very simple game. We, uh, you guys, uh, fight against each other, compete against each other, and see who can fit as many fries in your mouth as possible. Uh, any takers? Uh, 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 I'll go in on it. <laughs> All right. I say I have the jowls of the family. <laughs> and uh, y you, my dear. I'm good. <laughs> All right, then. The cost is three gold. Do you have it? Yeah, I mean, the way all these games are going, I don't know I can lose at this point. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be competing against me, and we are just going to do this. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, <damn! laughs> you have the biggest mouth of anybody! On your right. mark, someone Wait, goes, so you count for it? me. How many? How, how much time? We're just trying to fit a bunch of fries in our mouth. Wait, what's the I, time I, limit? There's no time. I didn't. I just made Wait, this stuff up the today too. Why am I counting? You're just counting how many fries I stick in my mouth. Oh, okay. Maybe okay, if okay, you can okay. watch okay. Matt. Okay, I don't want you to see how many. I'm gonna keep the secret. <laughs> okay. You ready? Yep. Here we hey, go. Go. This game of chubby bunny. <laughs> Eight. Uh -huh. We're gonna need a bucket. Oh. Ten. Oh. We're gonna need a bucket. Jeez, oh. Twelve. That's disgusting. Oh no. Sixteen. Oh. Eighteen. Oh god. Oh. 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 Gag reflex. Yeah, I'm bowling. And it's still all over my lap. Hey, I won. That will be three gold, please. Yeah, I'll take it. You earned it. <laughs> My pants are nice and greasy now. That's how I like it. There, that's yeah, fine. That's, that's, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy a lap fry. <laughs> if it, Jesus. A lap fry, baby. <laughs> suddenly, <laughs> suddenly, trumpets blare and fresh made taco salad shoots out of salad cannons, the traditional signal that the queen is going to speak. <laughs> Um, your group hustles to get a great spot close to the stage. Uh, Queen Wendy strides out to thunderous applause. Now, you've caught distance, gl uh, distant glimpses of her in the past, but being this close is a different experience. She's beautiful, wearing a chocolate-colored tiara to celebrate her favorite treat. The Frosty. And even though this is her 50th year uh, ruling as Fresh Tovia's queen, she radiates a, a youthful exuberance, as if she's somehow trapped in time, like, like a corporate logo of some sort. <laughs> her vibrant red hair is pulled back into pigtails, each tied with a light blue bow. Her freckles are perfect, almost like they were drawn on with a pencil. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, hold on. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my okay. goodness. Uh-huh. 
Uh huh. Great. <clears throat> a hush falls over the crowd as Wendy speaks. <laughs> My fellow Fresh Tovians, <laughs> for 50 years we have strived to accomplish things the other nations of Beef's Keep could not or chose not to. We have maintained the tried and true fact of Fresh Tovia. We do not cut corners. We will not cut corners. The deep freeze continues in the south, but we will not succumb to it because we stay fresh. Queen Wendy leaves this phrase hanging as the people of Fresh Tovia chant back, never frozen. <laughs> stay fresh, never frozen. <laughs> Uh, it's it's an amazing sight, and you are swept up, your heart beating faster with every word. This is how I her voice all these years. <laughs> Finally answered the question. <laughs> As you know, the deep freeze is upon us. The United Clown Nations has sent their ice jester north to try to ruin our freshness. This floppy-footed clown thinks he can sully our land, but never fear! I have sent our bravest warriors, the fame adventuring party known as Dave's Combo, to defeat the Ice Jester once and for— But just then, <laughs> a guard nervously hands a note to the queen written on the back of a napkin. She reads it, her face clouding in worry. She sips a wildberry lemonade to calm herself. <laughs> Available at locations everywhere. <laughs> and continues, I, uh, I'm so sorry. I, I have some uh, official royal business to attend to. Please enjoy the festival. <sighs> and she scurries away. The crowd is left confused. There are concerned murmurs all around. But when the band strikes up, everyone disperses. As you wander the circle, go ahead and everybody make an intelligence roll, if you could. Oh. Does the taco shell crunch under our feet as we walk by? Sure, no. sure it does. <laughs> I just realized this is an actual Wendy's D20. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh <laughs> my god. They gave, us, they gave us these. Oh man. Oh, I rolled a big oops. A big oops, <laughs> that's a number one. Uh, okay, so we'll say that, uh, yes, uh, Snacks it gets distracted falls over into a, a, a pool of Asiago Ranch and gets, <laughs> and gets all, all dirty. Uh, any, uh, what are your other rolls? What did you guys roll? I rolled a 16. Mm -hmm. 13. 11, I was distracted by what happened over here with a little nugget. Sure. So, um, uh, uh, Hog, Hog Wild, uh, you are the one who notices, um, you see a familiar person uh, sort of cutting through the crowd. Uh, it's it's uh, someone you work for, Colonel Cluck of the Irish, your commanding officer and friend. Uh, he looks concerned and harried, and he's and he's walking uh, sort of toward the palace. Uh, I, I I don't know if you want to catch up with him. Let him let him leave. That's yes, fine. I'll catch up with him, Colonel. Colonel. Oh, oh, hello there, Hog. Uh, f fun festival we're having today, isn't it? Then. Yes, you look very worried. Is everything all right? Um. Everything, everything's going. No, can I level with you? Of course. Uh, listen, uh, as you, as you were watching, uh, as you were watching the queen make her speech, uh, we just got word that Dave's combo, the famous adventuring party, they were on a secret mission to the south, but the ice jester captured them, and sent the queen a ransom note. Now, the queen has to decide whether to pay this ransom or, or try to rescue them, but she has no warriors to fight for her, no one to go on this mission. <sighs> if only there was someone, anyone brave enough to volunteer, it could save the kingdom, possibly win favor with the queen, and further my hastily written narrative for tonight, all at once. <laughs> well, I'll let you know. You're standing in front of a big, thicky, Thick, juicy Bergman is wow. looking for adventure. Oh, it's it will be a dangerous, dangerous adventure. Are, are you sure that you four are up to the task? Danger is a thing that I tell people is my middle name. It isn't really my. What is your real middle middle name, if I might ask? Jimmy. <laughs> Hold Hold Jimmy, Jimmy Wild. <laughs> oh. Interesting, is that a family? No, uh, it's a family name. Family name, sure, yes, sure. Yes. Hog Jimmy Wild. Oh, yeah, the Jimmy Wilds are real popular. Yeah. Generations. It's well, actually an honor to meet you. I was going to say something. Yeah, someone say I'm a prince of my people. 
Do you see that? <laughs> I'll say it. He's a prince of his people. That guy's a prince of his people. Yeah. He's a prince of his why people. Why are we all why are we all saying that he's a prince of his We're people? We're being very supportive. Sure, sure. Hey, stay on Irish, Pop. I can't. It's very hard. Toity toity toity. Cluck ushers you uh, towards the castle gates. Uh, uh, first, uh, I'll, just, I'll just ask you again, are you all up to this challenge? I mean, if, uh, if the Hog Wilds are going to make their way there, I'm gonna be there to make sure that he's all right, stays alive, stays well fed. Little one, are you up for this challenge? Hey, old man, don't get your pantries in a bunch. We can handle anything. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Extra points. <laughs> <laughs> Antarctica, how, how about you? Well, anything for my darling, Wendy. You see, I was there for her first communion. Oh, she, oh. We split an entire Baconator. It was quite lovely. Between like 40 people, oh. it was an incredible display. It's so amazing. I was there for her then, I will be there for her now. It sounds, it sounds like you have a lot of love in your, in your cold, icy heart for I her. I do. Well, fine then. Follow me, y'all. All right, so Cluck leads the party to Wendy's castle. It's a beautifully constructed castle with tall square towers reaching toward the sky on either end. There are rose bushes lining the walkway leading up to two open wooden doors that welcome guests. Uh, but then an imposing inner guard stops you at the main foyer. Oi, what's your business here? Oh, I'm sorry. We are just on a very important mission for Queen Wendy. You've probably seen me around. Antarctica, everyone's favorite aunt. And I'm going to cast Little Spoon. Oh, what's that? Um, <laughs> he has to make an Arcana save of 12. If not, we're friends. Oh, okay, I'm gonna roll. He rolled a two. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, uh, yes, ma'am, you, you see. Is just a kiss, a kiss, you kiss see you the guard belly. blush a little bit and sort of uh, adjust his collar yeah. uh, in, a, in a very welcoming way. Uh, yes, ma'am, of, of course I remember you. I didn't know if you remembered me. Uh, me. Uh, ab just absolutely, uh, yeah, the four of you Thank you, you. Thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Pass on by. I see what you did there. That's one way to flip a patty. <laughs> yep, yep. Oh, don't let my resting frost face fool you. <laughs> wow. Wow. Everything's, every, every line is a winner. <laughs> Puns chamber, GM. <laughs> um, okay, you are ushered um, down a long hallway into an opulent throne room. It's got square pa uh, hamburger patties, like, everywhere. And these hamburger patties don't just look like hamburgers, they are hamburgers. The seats, the tapestries, the curtains, even the chandeliers are all made out of actual hamburger meat. Wow. I'm creating, taking some creative license okay. with, with their with their module. This is homebrew. This is homebrew. This is not official canon lore. Everything in the place is meat. This is it's very Lady cosmic God's horror. Living room. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the meat throne. And it is the most beautiful sight you've ever experienced oh, in your life. That's a lot of beef. Does anyone else feel uncomfortable with the materials they use to build this place? I'm more impressed about the tactile strength of the chandeliers. It's, uh, that looks a little chewy. How does the architectural structure in here work? Oh, the floor's all greasy and slippery. I'm having a hard time standing. Pardon me, I'm just trying to keep myself up. No, it's okay. <laughs> oh God, I just want to pry on me. <laughs> um, you're, you're left waiting in the chamber for a while, um, and then uh, you hear a <laughs> as Queen Wendy strides into the room. <laughs> Well, the ground is made of meat, guys. <laughs> it's meat tiles. It's square meat tiles. It's, the way, the way it's the like future. a parquet. <laughs> uh, <sighs> she seems relieved at once to see you, um, that you might be there uh, to offer some guidance. Oh, my queen. Immediately go down on the one knee. Oh, yes, as Bunsman, it is typical for you all to, my queen. to take a knee. I'm already down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, 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 rise, rise, uh, rise. Now, I've been told that you heroes know of the nefarious ice jester. 
Why he continues down his frozen path is beyond me. I've attempted to fight him off with sassy Twitter sub subtweets, but so far, nada. And now he's beef napped my best soldiers. Honey, butter, biscuit, it's enough to turn my hair crimson. One of her guards calms her with another sip of lemonade. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's now, no problem. Now I was preparing to pay the ransom, the entire nation's supply of Frosty, but they tell me that you four are here to volunteer for a rescue mission? Why, yes. This is a rare situation that I want to make sure is done well. So, me and the other three bunsmen think we are the one for the task. How, how would I know that you are worthy of this task? Well, Queen Wendy, as you know, if you remember that little Were precious you in my moment. Communion? Yes, I gave you that little precious That's moment. Right. We all had the tiniest yes. piece of that baconator that I we had to share it with everybody. Why didn't they order more food? I'm not entirely sure. I don't understand yeah. it. It seems like they should have catered it's it. We are a nation <laughs> built around food. <laughs> It's just a little odd, I, you know. And with that, we cannot surrender our entire supply of Frosty. From the Order of the Frosty, I feel like, you know, sometimes we get a bad rap, you know, here in Freshtopia, and you know, Fresh never fails in, and you know, it's, but I roll, remain balanced. Why don't you roll a charm roll for me, oh, if you don't mind? I think that's a stat, right? Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> okay. Okay, 11. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I do remember you, and we do share a common history. Yes. Your, the Order of the Frosty is a noble one indeed, but, Thank you. but yet I'm going to need more proof that you four are worthy. So, <clears throat> um, I'm going to need to do a loyalty test. She, she nods to her young servant named Maxwell Jerry, uh, who sets out four trays in front of you. Uh, oh no. What? I'm sorry, Jerry. Or Maxwell Jerry. Uh, each, each tray has a chocolate frosty, a straw, a spoon, and french fries on it, or a french fry on it. Uh, and Queen Wendy uh, says, this is an ancient ritual passed down <laughs> from generation to generation of the inner circle. A straw, a fry, a plastic spoon, but only one will earn your boon. Choose wisely, take a dip, and touch that yummy frosty tulip. <laughs> so you must open your frosties and choose the implement that you will eat it with. Oh, this is a recipe for disaster. <laughs> Good one. Real answer. I agree. <laughs> Quickening. <laughs> Damn, it's so good though. <laughs> I know that's the thing. <laughs> it's all so good. <laughs> um, the frosties set before you seem to glow with a, uh, a greenish tint, an arcane power coursing through them. Um, suddenly, a sharp pain rattles all of your heads, but it quickly, it quickly dissipates. It didn't, it didn't cause a, a brain freeze. <laughs> In fact, it warms your whole soul. Um, you feel a renewed uh, spirit of adventure. And uh, Queen Wendy turns to you and says, you have chosen wisely. <laughs> <laughs> the French fry is the ultimate way to eat a frosty. You are worthy of this journey. However, you cannot simply charge into the heart of the United Clown Nations, you'll get freezer burn. But you might be able to get us a bargaining chip. Our latest intel from Fort Baconator says that our enemy is planning an assault on the Frosty Canyon Chili Fields. You guys all know that the Chili Fields is where a fresh Tovia has drilling operations for its famous chili. Crude chili is found underground and pumped out um, and refined at the Freestyle Falls Chili Refinery. Which I'm very glad we managed to stop the fracking efforts of getting the chili out last year. That was damaging. This is great. We learned this in second grade. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> 
Uh, and an agent from the United Clown Nations has been sent to the area with a forever flash freezer, an incredibly rare magical weapon that could freeze our entire chili operation and bring our prosperity to an end. If you can stop them from their goal and somehow steal the forever flash freezer, we could use it as a, to trade for the men and women of Dave's combo. And I will also reward you 500 gold pieces and your very own Wendy's franchise in Fort Wayne, Indiana. <laughs> Whoa! That's exotic. Yeah. If my queen. Yes. And I kneel on one knee, look up, <laughs> big, big smile. <laughs> I might make one additional request beyond just the gold in this generous offer of a franchise, which I gather we'd probably have to work out the logistics of shared partnership. Yeah, like, but, uh, um, is, is we'll, like we'll deal with it. I think you, okay. create, you typically create like an LLC or an LLP <laughs> that you we'll all get to own that shares in. Do we each but, get our uh, own franchise? Whatever. Just we'll one. Later. Okay. I would ask if we complete this task. It's in a mini mall. It gets a lot of foot traffic. Oh, <laughs> is it near Claire's? Just uh, I don't know. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go on, Tweezle. This is important. This is my backstory. <laughs> oh, good, good. More drop, more drop. I have reason to believe that the Grilden family's fall to shame was at the hands of the Happy Feasts. Now, I know they have a kind of a rapport with the kingdom here, but if we do this, will you do me the honor of trying to clear our name? I have heard of this sordid history of your family. There is a black grill mark across your family name. <laughs> but if you succeed in this mission, I, I could th think about restoring your family name to, to its former glory. There are, there are many powerful figures who still harbor a grudge against you people, of course. I understand, but that's all right, because us here of the order of the Homestyle Chicken Sandwich, <laughs> we like to provide a crispy hug to help everyone's satiated hunger bring us together. So, I thank you for your offer. I'll do you proud. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> um, you guys now see that uh, uh, Tweezel's uh, pants are, sort of have big grease stains on the knees. Um, <laughs> and uh, 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 when, uh, Wendy looks at you, Queen Wendy, sorry, and says, uh, well, if there's no other business to attend to, you must go. In Dave's holy name, you must go and, and leave, leave right away and, 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 and succeed for us, succeed for us all. And don't forget when you have succeeded, light the sacred flame on Biggie Hill to let the entire queendom know that you have succeeded. Now go, leave me to my sweet and sour bath. <laughs> <laughs> and as you leave, you see handmaids rolling Wendy into a vat of tangy sweet and sour sauce. <laughs> I'm very <curious. sighs> Interesting. Um, all right, so you, you leave uh, the, um, the throne room and are escorted back out towards the front of the castle where uh, Colonel Cluck is still um, waiting for you. Um, Man, heavy, hang the braids. Oh, I'm done with this. Yes. <laughs> yes, this is. I'm, I'm very invested in this. The the Burgerman. Oh God. Really enjoy the, <laughs> okay. the chili. There was a Burgerman I knew. Uh, his name was Bliffy Wadiway. Sure. And he would buy the Southwest salad from Wendy's, mm. and he thought, Oh, they give me free chili every time. This is great. Until he realized he was supposed to put the chili on the salad. Uh, and then his dreams were crushed. Because <laughs> he, the cute girl who worked at the Wendy's wasn't just hooking him up with free chili. <laughs> she was just doing her job. That's a, that's a mighty sad tale. Wow. Uh, thank you for sharing, and I, I think we can all uh, just take a moment in silence for your friend there. I'm it's so his sorry. heart lesson. Yeah. Mm. You're baking our hearts here. Oh, uh. oh boy. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Every time it's like steering further into the abyss. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> it doesn't get any easier. Every fun uh, is a little cut. <laughs> well, I grab my spoon, I grab my shield and my oven plated armor. Yeah. Comb my beard out a bit and say, yes. What do you say, friends? 
Shall we make our way towards the ghastly venture before us? Snack starts spinning her nugget bowl of. <laughs> Let's do this. Die too cool for us to imagine. I grab my special and frying pan and I look at my compatriots and say, Ride a fry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These are all, these, oh, these are these are all words that you are saying. <laughs> um, uh, Colonel Cluck meets you outside the the gates of the castle. Um, I, I, in the interest of time, you you catch him up on uh, what's going on. Um, I gotta get back into Irish. Hi, 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 Great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I just figured out what was happening. <laughs> Um, uh, well, then you'd, you'd best be going. Um, the Frosty Canyon chili fields are, are due south of here, about a half day's journey by foot. Um, you'll follow the road to the Frosty Canyon village, and there you can meet an ally, Prince Carter. He'll guide you to the strike point, and hopefully you can cut off these fools at the pass. Um, so now, uh, you sort of, you, you you guys know, I think one of you, do, do any of you, are any of you familiar with the kingdom? Uh, any of you have any maps or, or anything? How would you know that? I don't know, I, I probably gave you something on your sheet. I have an ukulele. Great. Well, the nation great. of Fresh Tovia is to the east. Oh, okay, great, you got a map, great. Yeah. So you know the general location of where you're going. Um, you could set out right away. Uh, is there anything else you wish to do before setting out on, on this adventure? <laughs> There's stuff all over my face, isn't there? Yeah. You look like a newsie. <laughs> I'd like to make a quick stop by the Grilden residence, and oh. it's been kind of pushed off to the outside, kind of slum area of the kingdom where we were shamed to, and walk to the small altar to my long past father, Benj of the Bread and look up into his eyes, slide a single candle, and say, Don't worry, Pops. We're going to make things right again. Can wipe, you wipe a salty tear from my cheek? Go ahead and, and roll an Arcana check to see if you can connect with your the spirit of, of <laughs> your past, Grilden. That's a twenty. That that's a that's feast mode. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just killed your dead ancestor, <laughs> <laughs> or ate or ate him. I'm not sure, but whatever the case is, the um, the uh, the parallel lines of of the grill the grill altar that you have uh, set up start glowing red. Um, red with 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 a radiant uh, divine heat. Uh, at once you're, you're scared, but realize that this is a warming heat that that sort of welcomes you, um, and you can sense that the spirit of your ancestor is there, and says to you, "Go, go on this journey, rectify our name, and bring me back like a few ke ketchup packets, yeah. if you can." Yeah, we're running low. You're right. All right, no worries. I'll make you proud. I'll make you proud. <laughs> Steam uh, floats off the grill. Yeah, and, well, it's a safety hazard. <laughs> and it, it fades back to a dull black. Have you seen those safety in the workplace PSAs? <laughs> Obviously, I haven't, so you have to show me on the way. I look back at the altar and get a little spooked and leave <laughs> radically. Um, I get to say, I don't know why, <laughs> I'm going to say, um, Something that you didn't notice was there before has just uh, something catches your eye at the bottom of the of the uh, uh, of the idol. Um, there's not much to choose from. <laughs> Let's say, okay, great. Um, it's a it, something uh, glint catches your eye, and um, and you you kneel down and, and see it's um, it's a ten foot uh, it's a twenty foot long length of chain. Um, that uh, that has a, a hook at the end of it, and uh, you just hear the faintest whisper of, of from your your ancestor. I've forgotten his name. Br the breaded. What was it? Benja the breaded. Benja the breaded saying, "Take this and use it wisely. It was my chosen weapon." weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Don't worry. All right. I will. So you have a what did I say? Twenty foot length of chain. chain. Great. I don't know. <laughs> We'll see what happens. <laughs> um, okay, so um, so you've visited uh, uh, 
Um, Freezel's. What? What is your name? <laughs> Dweezel. Freezel. Dweezel. Dweezel. Tweezel's homeland. Um, is there anything else you wish to do? Yes, I go back to my home and mm. visit my four tiny sons. Cheese, burger, sly, and durs. <laughs> and we all, we all take a moment to talk. And I tell them that Papa is stepping out for a bit. He has a big adventure, but to take care of each other. But, Papa, you, you'll you come home, won't you? If I don't, you should look out for each other. If you don't? If I don't, I don't know what may happen on this trip. Oh. I may step out and never come back. But without your thick, juicy, fatherly figure around, who, who will guide us? Who, which, which of the four of us will carry on the family name? I place my two, four, si- four th- <laughs> thick fingers on each of their chests. You no. only have four fingers? Well, no, I'm doing Oh, that. okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know how Burgerman yeah, anatomy yeah, yeah. Burgerman works. Burgerman have five hands, well, <laughs> but, but I'm, you know, <laughs> and I'm poking them all in the chest and I'm saying, there are thick, juicy men hiding inside of all of you. And when you grow up and look after each other and go to school and brush your teeth before you go to sleep, you'll all grow up into big, thick, juicy men. And soon you'll be bigger, thicker, and juicier than your own dad. But I may not come back. Uh, (laughs) And if I don't come back, I need you to go down to the market. There's a man there by the name of Benny. He'll know what to do, and he'll take care of all of you. Um... (laughs) <laughs> your your youngest by a few minutes, Durs, comes up <laughs> and uh, and says, Papa, I know what you're doing is noble, and I know you'll come back and make the the wild family proud. <laughs> Please be safe. Of course, son. And like we always say in our family, live fast, eat fast, Durs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh huh. And as you gently shut the door uh, on your house, you can see, of course, uh, on the door, above the door, hanging a, a crocheted uh, saying, that, that famous saying of your family, hanging just about above the door. A lot, a lot of R's. <laughs> yep. yeah. yeah, there's six R's at the end. Um, all right, any other? Yeah, similarly, I go to see my brothers and sisters at home, all five of them. Okay. Nug. You guys have lots of family. <laughs> Crisp, honey, chicken little. I gotta go on an adventure now. These are your brothers and sisters? Yeah. Okay. You guys might be a five piece set at this point. It's hard to say. When I'm gone, I need you to do me a favor and look after Hog Wild's kids. They're a mess. <laughs> Grease everywhere. They run amok. You mean Hog Wild, that. Big, juicy, thick guy? Yeah, his kids kind of are a mess. Yeah, he's a tall drink of bacon grease, but not really good on the fatherhood thing, so. Hey. We're probably gonna die on this mission. (laughs) Basically, you're adopting them, that's what I'm saying. Well, I guess, I guess it'll be a nine piece then, but we'll make do, hey. If you do get dipped, get dipped with honor, okay? Way to look on the sp- <laughs> Nope, nope. <laughs> Whatever you're gonna say. <laughs> I don't know if I'm having a heart attack or... <laughs> it's, it's tough. Or an out-of-body experience. <laughs> Wait, look on the bright side, small fry. I'll see you around. <laughs> Not if I see you first, Snacks. She's already gone. What? <laughs> <laughs> Three family visits down. Any others to do? Oh, I'm just blasting through town. I don't really, you know, just like a freezer blasting through. It's good. You know what? It'll be okay. Everyone is used to losing one nugget down the center of their console in their car. (laughs) Yes, queen. Yes. 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 And scene. 
All right, you guys walk out of the gates of Fresh Tovia. Uh, there are two roads uh, leading out. Yes, you've got your belongings, enough uh, enough food for the day, snacks. Um, there are two roads uh, that lead directly out of Fresh Tovia, the eastern road and the southern road. Um, heading east leads to Dave's Double Hills. Uh, heading south will lead you to, to Biggie Vale and Frosty Canyon. That's uh, where you're headed. Um, and south? You, yeah. <clears throat> Side quests all night long. Okay, sure. No, south, I'll, just, south. I'll just delete. I'll delete everything. In. <laughs> we, we fast traveler. <laughs> um, after about an hour uh, of of steady travel, it's uh, it's midday now. Uh, the road has been easy, um, well marked. Uh, you're passing through um, a part of the road that has uh, it's a little less developed, a little, a little less um, trodden. And uh, trees um, are sur- are surrounding you. Um, not not a huge canopy that it blocks the light or anything. It's just sparse trees are around. You come uh, in the middle of the road um, to a cart that has been overturned ahead of you. Horses attached to the tip wagon are kicking and bucking and neighing. There's some sort of sauce spilled across the road. You're not sure what. Um, what would you like to do? Careful. It could be a honey mustard pot. Whoa. You know what, make an intelligence check to see if you can re- recognize the uh, type of sauce. Intelligence? Yeah. 16. It is honey mustard. <laughs> uh, yes, one of the, uh, there's several barrels, uh, but one, the one that has overturned is a honey, is a honey mustard barrel. I don't like it. I'm gonna dip out and hide behind the trees and try to start skirting the area while my friends okay. take this head on. Okay, why don't you roll a grace check to see how stealthy uh, and nimble you are. Actually, you know what? Let's place you on the board, shall we? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Order of the chicken nuggets! How you doing, man? I'm a rogue! <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> that soul. Might might not make it through this tonight. <laughs> oh god, this you might recognize this map from. I do. <laughs> from last week. Wait, did you? Just I just used one. Used of, a map. Used one of Matt's maps. Have you know? Are those giant fries that are on the ground in a few places? Uh, uh, yes, yes. Um, what color do you guys want to be? <laughs> I'll be blue. Antarctica will be blue. Okay. Hello, oh chickens. Uh, Oh boy, they don't stand, do they? Uh, uh, where do you want to stealth to, uh, Snacks? Where did we enter, GM? Oh, you're, you're coming this way, uh, down the road. I will be f- over here. <sighs> okay, you're yeah. gonna stealth to that <laughs> tree. Mm-hmm. And what did yeah. you roll for that stealth roll? Uh, 14 ready. total. Uh, 14 total. Oh, oh, oh. Feeling pretty good about that roll. Um, who's who? I'll be green. I'll be actually walking right up to it going, Hey, friends, it appears like you've made a big mess out here and need a hand. Let us know. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stay with Homestyle. Yeah, and I'll be right next to him. Yes, you better be careful. We have a license to grill. <laughs> <laughs> and they all get plus one to their charm rolls for being near me. Okay, so as you uh, approach the cart, there is no one on the cart. It's it's a couple of horses. Um, and what is this the, magic? How can that cart have nobody with it? The These cart is overturned. Really You're not smart. sure how how long it's been there. You can see um, French fries scattered everywhere. Some in the cart, some nearby, some uh, in a bush nearby. I'm gonna approach the horses and be like, friends, it looks like you're running a fry racket here, but you've uh, lost track of some of your your goods here. Tell me, wh- uh, where are you off to? Where are you taking it? <laughs> you're talking to the horse? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's roll a <laughs> mm, charm, charm, let's say charm. Plus one. Six. <laughs> yeah, the, the horse says <laughs> But uh, doesn't seem to understand your your language. I look uh, around. Or communicate, okay, Is yes. Is there movement in roll, the woods or are we being ambushed? Roll an intelligence check for sure. Little buddy, calm 16. down. 16, uh, you do notice uh, out of the corner of your eye, that um, one of, one of the sort of bunches of fries over here starts to move a little bit, oh, no. um, and uh, uh, it springs to its feet and starts to rush right at your group. Okay, it doesn't get uh, close enough to attack, but I need everyone to roll for delicative. <laughs> You, 
you get? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, tw I, there's no bonus to. Okay, what's your delicious? initiative? I think it's just a d20 straight, mm. and I don't think there's any pluses I don't to delicious. Okay. Okay, so 15 to 20. Oh, I gotta roll for the for the fry fiends as well. <laughs> fry fiends. Uh huh. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, 15 to 20. Nobody. Uh, 10 to 15? Ah, I rolled a 13. Okay. 10 for Antarctica. Uh, 10 for Ant. I rolled a flipping eight. Eight for snacks. Yeah. Five. Okay. And I'm just excited to see friends coming closer. <laughs> oh, look at his little fry fellas coming to. Oh wait, you're, you're Hog, sorry. Not Tweezel, got it. Uh, okay. Four C's, I found your friends. Okay. Got it. Okay, so we are in combat, guys, which is a thing that exists in this game. Is it daytime or nighttime? It is still midday. Okay. The sun shines bright overhead. Um, and it is the fry fiend's turn first. You see now clearly that these French fries um, actually have two skinny legs what, uh, wearing what appears to be some sort of boots, leading up to a large, frightening French fry body. Um, large, crooked noses, tattered, pointed ears, and brightly colored punk rock hair swept over their faces like angsty teens. Um, they are going to attack. What can they do, guys? Let's find out. This one first is gonna go up to who, Greeny? That's me. Okay, an attack. Hey, friend. <laughs> with a. Want to help figure out why these horses are lost that? What's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> he attacks. Oh boy, that is a 17 to hit. What's your defense? That's a 16. Oh, that's a hit. Oh shit. You see this fry fiend um, jump up and do like a karate kick straight to the hey, face. <laughs> um, it connects with your chin, dealing six points. Jeez, that's a lot of, of damage. I, I might kill you guys. That wasn't very nice. <laughs> um, uh, uh, the other, this fry fiend hops out of the cart, um, and he doesn't quite have enough movement to. Well, let's see here. Five, because it's like half movement to get out of the cart. Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, he's within range. He's going to attack. Ready? Who's ready? That's you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm ready. Twelve, 12 to uh, to hit. What's your defense stat? Eighteen. Oh, okay. He flies up to do a face kick and instead whiffs and flies right, fries right behind you and lands in the dirt. Um, and this last fry fiend hops up and starts making his or her way over. Only can get about that far. You know what? They're gonna. Um, it's not called dash, it's called sprint. They're gonna sprint, deep, 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 but they can't attack yet. Um, that's their roll, that's their move, and it is now uh, Hog Wild's turn. So I turn to the fry fiend in front of me, but not before I cut a look at the horse, says, you've betrayed us. <laughs> <laughs> I swing down upon the full fry fiend. <laughs> Fry fiend with my frying pan and spatula. Oh, it's a double attack? You can do that? I, I have two, I'm double wielding. I don't know how to do That's work. correct. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have two weapons, but can, do you get two? Yeah, I read all our player stats. Okay, so <laughs> I should have done that. <laughs> Wait, first roll to hit. So roll a d20 oh, yeah. to hit. I guess twice if you're using two weapon oh. attacks. 17 for the first. <laughs> 17 for the second. Oh, both hit for sure. <laughs> um, all right, roll for damage for both attacks. Uh, 11 damage. Uh, total, that's for uh, both, both For hits? both weapons. Okay, uh, your, your frying pan slams into the side of its french fry face, and your other weapon is a spatula. Yes. Jabs into what you can assume are ribs, but just look like more <laughs> french fries, um, and it lets out a moan of pain. Ah! Just it's moan for me, you fry. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, uh, that one that you struck is looking already looking pretty rough. Um, anything else to do on your turn? Would you like to move? Would you like to? Uh, no, I'll stand there and I'll just stare at it. Just let you know you messed up. I told you already. I have a license to grill. Yes, yes, you did. You did that one already. Yes, that is true. Um, the grill zone. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Uh, Antarctica, you're up next. Oh, um, I'm gonna move up around the corner. Uh, uh. Henry. Henry. <laughs> and I'm going to use two spoons. Oh, what does that do? <laughs> they have to make an arcana, uh, uh, an arcana check. Is that all of the fries, or just the ones you're targeting? Everyone in the area. It's, a, it's, okay. an, it's an area Create thing. Create a mirage Great. that will draw the attacks of your enemies on their next turn, so you can break out from combat undetected. Is that what two spoons is? That sounds what, yeah. like yes. two spoons is. Yes. So you're gonna make a mirage yes, to distract I, them. I wanted to look like a giant deep fryer with a, like brave little toaster legs, like one of those <laughs> nightmares, uh -huh. but right, coming up. after the fries. So okay. Then you, you have to roll that one for the arcana roll. Oh, uh, uh roll plus oh, your I arcana. Do. You have to roll a fourteen or higher. I have to roll a fourteen or higher. Okay. Okay. New system. New system. Who dis? Who is it? Three? Is it three of them? Or no? It's no, just, just one, one for each one. Fourteen or higher. Nope. Oh. Miss. Oh man. Eleven. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you see this uh, this uh, this image uh, apparate next to you, right in front of one of the French fry uh, fiends. But then it, it uh, the French fry seems to look through it and laugh mockingly in its salty voice, <laughs> and it it fizzles in front of you. Is there anything else you'd like to do with your extra extra turn, extra move, anything, any movement? No, no. no. Snacks, you're up. Oh man, too many Tweezle, cooks in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, Snacks comes rolling out from behind the tree up to these two fry fiends right here. One of those is the one that Hogwild hit, right? a lot right? of damage already. Okay, I'm gonna come right uh, between them. Uh-huh. Get right between them, and I can, where did my character go? Um, grab and go, when engaged in combat, I can either double my movement or do two attacks. I'm attacking twice. Great. Okay. With my nugget bolas. <laughs> <laughs> They both miss. Three and a four. Oh, no. oh, oh wait. Oh. Mm. I'm, looking for, bu I'm looking for buffs. I'm looking for buffs. combo. <laughs> um, you know what I should have said earlier? Because you guys all enjoyed a lovely frosty before, you all get plus one to your charm for the rest of the day. Ooh. There are there are buffs and there are debuffs for eating different kinds of food. Oh, if anyone okay. is interested in eating. This plate of food, I'm not gonna tell you what's gonna happen, <laughs> but it's not Wendy's food, so maybe not anything good. <laughs> <laughs> the example food. Yeah. The window at the deli. I was, I was wondering if that was purchased at like a prop warehouse. Yeah. Um, Rubber grapes. I think some of it is fake food. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, so your spell missed. You attacked. You missed. you missed twice. Keep um, okay, you swing. You swing at these things, but you you uh, you don't realize at the time that the the fries can sort of spread out uh, and dodge attacks deftly, and so um, they they kind of stymie you. It's very frustrating. Um, Tweezel, you are up. What would you like to do? I just grazed him. All right, looking around at my friends here and having a hell of a tough time digging into these creatures. I think to myself, well. By the might of the breaded, I will guide your weapons with the majesty of a little more flavor. So I'm gonna add a little flavor to it. What does that mean? I'm gonna go ahead and inspire. <laughs> I didn't really read much of this. <laughs> I'll go over there and say, don't worry, friends. Trust me, frosties and fries, it's a good combo. It is. Nugget, you got this, friend. I toss in the air a handful of pepper and salt that kind of cascades across your weapons. Uh, yeah, yeah. For your, ne for your next, uh, for your next turn, for your next turn, two characters of your choosing gain advantage on their attack rolls. Right. Oh, Automatic effect, no rolls required. That's gonna help. And that's your action for the My action. Move? And then I turn back at the, the the wounded fry in front of me and be like, "Oh, don't worry, baby. Baconator's coming again." <laughs> okay. Um, uh, it's a fry's turn. Um, they're all three gonna attack. I'll just roll right now. Who dies first? Um, okay, great. So, um, I forget who's yellow, but this one attacks that Snacks yep. uh, with 17. What's your defense? Oh, it's lower than that, it's a 14. Ooh! All right, so they're gonna hit you with uh, with a high kick, um, it's a straight up high kick to the face. You, you suddenly uh, fry you, kick. 
Yeah, it's a fry <laughs> cake. Uh, you, you, you spin ready for action when all of a sudden, a french fry hits you in the ear and it really hurts bad. Ah, son of a clock. <laughs> Uh, you take six <laughs> points of damage also. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's um, looking pretty rough. <laughs> um, the, uh, the next one is going to attack, I believe it's you, Tweezel, and roll to 12. What's your defense? Oh, it's a 16. All right. <laughs> nice try, fry, buddy. Yes, uh, the French fry <laughs> bounces off of your meaty chest. Uh, no damage taken. And the last French fry is going to take shake out its long and droopy hair, flinging stray salt at all uh, nearby opponents. Um, anyone who is nearby will say that these two, um, that's Tweezel and I can't remember oh, your, guy, well, your Pooper, name's Hog, um, <laughs> must make a grace roll. So roll for grace, trying to take a uh, roll a 12 or above. That's a 19. That's a 26. Okay, this is a salt shaker attack. So salt sprays at both of you. Um, Hog, seeing it coming, is able to duck out of the way and and, <laughs> uh, and shield him w himself from the salt. But the salt does hit you, Tweezel, and uh, uh, you take two. Briny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, your skin suddenly uh, recoils in pain. A little salt gets in the cut that you got it from earlier and really stings. Oh, curses the bead of the condiment. <laughs> two points of damage for you. That's uh. the end of their roll. Um, Hog Wild, you are up. Well, it's time to finish the fright and this frying fight. Not, I'm scared. I'm not scaring you. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> uh, and I swing down the, the, the spatula and the frying pan. Double attack. Roll twice. 18 for the. The same one twice? Or? Yeah, same one twice. Well, uh, okay, the, they both definitely hit. Um, when you bring down your uh, frying pan on the one, can you roll for damage for me? Oh, yes. Uh, the frying pan will roll right here. Does 11. Okay, that French fry is smushed, um, just dug into the mud. You can see dirt and French fry potato mixing, and um, it's weird. It's not blood. But, but a little bit of ketchup spills out, um, as it does. You can direct your second attack at another fry if you're close enough I'm doing by. A, a, are there any fries around me? What, you're this dude? Yeah, red. Oh, so you attacked this one? Yes. Oh, I think I've been doing this wrong. I thought you attacked that one last time. So yes, that one's definitely dead. Um, and I can say, I'll say that you can use your movement and, and go over to this guy All and right. attack if you'd like. I will attack him. Okay, you rolled already, you hit. You but when I killed that last fry, I said, did anyone order mashed potatoes? Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, did you hear that? You smashed your friend. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. So you're... It's a joke about your death. No, I'll attack the, the other one. Uh, you already rolled for that. You definitely hit. So now just roll for damage. Four damage. All right. Um, the French fry uh, raises up its fry arms to sort of buckle under the weight of your attack, lessening some of the damage, but it still causes a good hefty then hit. Then I will do something I forgot to do last time. Mm -hmm. I will make it a double, which are, allows me to perform two actions per turn. Oh, man. Oh. Smush him some more. Oh, yes. snap. All right, let's do it. All right, so. Roll two more times, I guess, or just one oh, more Oh, that was a D20 feast mode. Feast mode. Oh my god, guys! <laughs> Feast mode, here's the rules for feast mode. Um, when you roll a d20, you get full damage. So you, uh, what, whatever the d, what, natural 20. yeah. Um, what, what d do you, what, what is like d10 for damage or d? Uh, the frying pan is a d12. In so the you get automatic 12 points of damage. All right. Um, plus 
you roll full damage. His next the next roll is with advantage. Your right? next roll will be with advantage on the next attack. So um, so it takes another an additional twelve points of damage. Ooh, it is looking super rough. It's ha- hanging on by a fry. Hope you're ready for the spatula. You're, you got more? Oh my gosh! One more time, and that was a nineteen. You get to roll with advantage. Oh, go again. No, yeah. that was, yeah, we'll take that. Definitely hits. Yes, yes. Uh, roll for damage. Okay. All right. Well, that, that did one damage. <laughs> <laughs> it was enough to do it. Oh, uh, yes. um, gore and spud of, uh, just blasts all over you, getting in your face and hair. Um, it's it's a gory, gory death. Um, and this fry has been Starchy. sent to the freezer for good. The other fry is looking a little bit scared at this point, um, but uh, it, we move on in the order to Antarctica. What would you like to attempt? I will take my initiative and go up with my spoon. Something's never happened. <laughs> <laughs> Dip it into my awesome dress. It comes out with some frosty on it and I fling it in its face. You're gonna fling Frosty in his face. All right, yeah, roll for an attack. Yeah, with my spoon attack. Spoon attack, go ahead and roll. Spoon! Okay. You have advantage, technically. I do, I'll That's take, right. fi- what do, do I add something? F- 15? I no. <laughs> no, I 15. don't think so. And did you roll with advantage? Yes. Okay, 15. That definitely hits, their, their defense is only 12, so. Okay. That is four damage. Four damage. This is the one that's left standing. Uh-huh. Um, all right, that's a definite hit. Frosty, uh, the, the sweetness of the Frosty combining with the saltiness of, of his body sort of sizzles and fizzes. Ah, it shrieks out in pain. Uh, it's not used to being this, this sweet. It prefers that's a much right. more salty existence. Um, it shudders back, but it is still living on the battlefield. Is there anything else you'd like to do? I don't think so. <laughs> do anything else. I don't know how it works either, Marisha. I don't either. <laughs> I'm good. Um, Snacks, you're up. Oh, man, Snacks white rubs her jaw in pain. Ugh, I've done had enough of this. And I'm going to do a four-piece of salt, and Whoa. I'm going to swing out my nugget bullet and catch him by the fried junk and yank, and then I get four successive attacks at advantage. At what? advantage? Well, yeah. because of the spell. Sure, sure, sure. So Roll four nuggets to the face. Uh, first one is a 17. Hit. Second one is a 15. Hit. Third one is a 16. Hit. And the last is an 11. Miss. Oh. So, bola, 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 nugget, nugget, <laughs> nugget. Just repetitive slamming into the french fry's face. They were all fours. 12 damage. Ooh, pop, 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 pop. doctor. This thing is on... It's last legs. What? It's still standing. I'm going to use the grab and go passive action to back away without him I being think able you to mean take a to cheap break shot. Out? To break out you without taking to say a cheap something shot. Else, but that's not consistent. <laughs> yeah, you're going to break out <laughs> and move away so it doesn't get a cheap shot. Where would you like to move? Oh, back behind that tree, baby. Back behind that tree. Very smart, strategic move. Amazing. I play tabletop games. <laughs> <laughs> um, this fry fiend is looking pretty rough, and is going to go ahead and turn tail and, and run. It's going to it's going to use all of its action to run. You know what? Because it was close to is this you, Effie? The red? Yes, that's you me. get you get a cheap shot. Uh, one one attempt to try to hit it as it runs away. All right, I'll just roll a my d twenty for your children. 14. 14 hits. Uh, any any roll you make will will smush it, so it tries to run away. Ah! And then pfft, you fry, s- fry. You, s- <laughs> you know what? How how would you like to chew this? Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Brain freeze. <laughs> I feel like I need to go to church after this and, and confess. Yeah, 
that. <laughs> and I'll, I'll smack it, and it's while it's dazing, I'm just pulling the fries out one by one. I'm just getting all the fries. Yes, 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 you oh, die. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's a it's a mess of French fries, salt, oh thick, juicy man, oh. and you just shred these fries till they're. It's not even recognizable that it was ever a, a package of French fries. I see you make a good hash brown skillet. Yes, I'm thicker so they die quicker. <laughs> Um, the battle seemingly over. Uh, you guys scan the area and don't see or hear anything else, so it seems that we are out of combat. Are the horse is spooked. Uh, the horses are, are pretty spooked by what just happened. I'm gonna go to the horse and be like, shh, shh it's all right, little buddies. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry, calm down. Roll that charm, charm roll one more time. Plus two. That's a. Uh... 18. Wow. The horse uh, uh, was bucking and about to break, make a break for it. Shh. It's all right. Mm. It's all right. And it calms down. It sort of nuzzles its head into into your massive chest. And uh, oh, 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 oh. Oh, I want to keep them. <laughs> well, uh, you, the, the horses are both healthy. They haven't been injured in the fight. They are attached to the cart, but uh, you guys could use them if you if you so so care to. Cart's still functional. The cart, the axle is actually broken on the cart. You're not sure if this was set up as a, as an ambush or if this was, it looks like there was a legitimate sauce dealer that was possibly ambushed yesterday, today, earlier. You don't know where, where the owner of the cart went, but uh, they didn't fare as well as you uh, guys Don't did. worry, I, I can fix this. I got, I got some tools on me. I'm gonna oh. go ahead and try it and fix it with a hammer and nails. Hammer and nails, sure. That is how you fix the axle of things. I have an intelligence <laughs> of seven. I don't know sure. that. Sure, roll, let's say, um, Let's say a grace check because grace is sort of uh, fi fine, uh, fine. Nineteen. Great. All right. Yeah. It turned out that the axle had just popped out, <laughs> and you just had to pop it back in and put one single nail in there. Totally good to go. You the guys University have of Phoenix pays off. <laughs> the skills, life skills, eventually come into play. Um, my cardboard carriers are barking, so I am gonna pop a squat. <laughs> <laughs> um, you you uh, survey the area. Um, the lifeless bodies of the fry fiends are around. Um, you know what? How about if you're gonna go into the cart? How about snacks and um, hog? <laughs> or just roll an intelligence check uh, to see if you see anything else nearby. That was a one. I'm too busy looking at my juicy big chest. Oops. Big oops. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a juicy chest. <laughs> oh, look Can at you do that thing with the pecs that go yeah. up and down? Oh, yeah. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at me, everyone! Oh, 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 it's so juicy. Hey, buddy, horses, look at this over here. <laughs> well, Snacks rolled a six because she's just staring at Hog's pecs. <laughs> For like an hour, we're all just like, all right. <laughs> Look at him go. It's like what a, are we doing again? It's like a choppy shoreline. It's mesmerizing. <laughs> the juices pop off. It's like a, it's like a visual vacation. I want to take my whole family there. <laughs> visual vacation. Wow. Amazing. How the, the bacon just undulates. <laughs> can we, as we're staring at his undulating chest, mm -hmm. uh, can we take a snack break? A little. Yes, you guys can definitely use this as a snack break and oh. heal yourself up to six. Uh, up to D6, six. I right? think you roll a d6. That's a cocktail. Three. That's better. Okay. Okay. You didn't take any, didn't damage. Take any damage. Antarctica. Nobody yes, touches her. I'm great. <laughs> Um, just in case, let's have Antarctica roll an intelligence check as well, just to see if she can spot anything. Okay, all right, all right. Don't fail me, Wendy! No, that's not great. Eight. Okay. Well, would you guys like to continue along your journey? Yeah. All right. Come on, little buddies. We're going to take you on an adventure. <laughs> yeah! The cart uh, moves uh, a little faster now down. Um, down the road, the horses are calm and they follow your every command. What should we name them? Good call. Good question. We have two horses. Yeah, we got two. Of them. Two little, little hooved buddies here. Careful. 
Don't make it a meat-based name. <laughs> so you're named Careful, and your meat-based name. <laughs> God. Great. Careful you know, meat Mars is name. one of the few safe animal animals in Fresh That's Tobio. True. That is <laughs> true. These guys got Very long true. job security. They're great. Mm. Um, you ride quickly uh, and without incident along the road, passing signs uh, for offshoot roads, um, for other points of in interest that we won't be visiting tonight, like the French Fry Forest, <laughs> Nuggetton, Biggie Vale. Is that where my, you're from? Uh, my, my grandparents, yeah. Mm. Makes you a little homesick. Uh, <laughs> Costa del Spicy <laughs> and the Beef Gate. These are real places <laughs> in the guidebook. The Beef Gate. The Beef Gate. <laughs> Not. Continue, don't please. No. Please don't. No. Please don't. No. <laughs> please don't no. spend too much time on that one. <laughs> and our... It's tasty. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's ta we are tasty yeah, beef people. Is tasty. The, the beef people, that's what. No, we're going to take it right now. <laughs> <laughs> we're going we're gonna to take it right We're going to take it right <laughs> It's time to take it right Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, we're gonna take a brief intermission right here um, and go uh, enjoy some some relaxing time. Uh, thanks to our friends so far uh, at Wendy's for providing us with this feast of legends. Uh, we'll be back in a few minutes to play more of this game, and we can't wait to see you here after a quick break. See you soon. I want to go to the beef game now. <laughs> Like a symphony playing to an empty theater, Critical Role dines alone without its audience. Yes, that validating and most enthusiastic congregation on the other side of the fourth wall. And what is this fourth wall separating the viewer from the creator? A portal to an often sought point of connection? Or the Twitch subscription zone? On the rare occasion that you miss the live bacchanal boasted by the ragtag group of thespians on Thursday night, you may always view the show on demand in the Shadowland known as the Twitch Subscription Zone. Picture, if you will, the necessary pieces to complete a jigsaw puzzle, but it's up to you to choose how it will be solved. You could, of course, subscribe with your debt rectangle, but many more divergent paths lie before you. Perhaps you found yourself in possession of an Amazon Prime account. You would then wake up to discover a free Twitch subscription each month for a channel of your choosing. But this artifact demands renewal, for you must resubscribe each month to quench its unyielding thirst. One need not walk alone. Those who have already found their way can illuminate the path for others via the gift a sub button on Twitch. Critical Role is humbled by your subscription and wishes to thank you from behind the thin veil of this fourth wall. We hope you enjoy our content as much as we enjoy making it. And so ends another meandering digression, a complicated parody promo down an indistinct highway to the region we call the Twitch Subscription Zone. You will 
subscribe. Twitch Prime subscribe. Gift subscribe. Subscribe.